Hi, this is Mike Maslanka. Today, let me try to decipher a mystery of the law called local counsel. That's where a lawyer is hired to sue or defend a lawsuit, but also ask the client to allow him or her to hire yet another lawyer, one living and practicing in the location of the suit, to help out on the case. Why, oh why? Well, judges in Texas and other parts of the country are elected. Consequently, and candidly, it helps to know the likes and dislikes of the judge, to be friendly with the court staff, to relate to a jury pool, to have credibility, and for the most part, local counsel is retained in more remote parts of a state where the legal community is more insular with one another. And when the plaintiff's lawyer was the high school football star, you need a little local support on your side. How do you pick local counsel? I asked three questions. Did you help the judge's election campaign? How often have you appeared before the judge? And if we do not select you, who should we select? Let me see if I can sum it up. This is a hammer. A woman in a small town had a squeak in her floor. One carpenter came, hammered away, but the squeak remained. Another carpenter came, hammered away, no dice. Finally, a carpenter came, looked around the room, and hammered in a nail. Squeak disappears. The overjoyed homeowner asked, how much do I owe you? The carpenter said, $500. What, she exclaimed, $500? I want an itemized bill. So he took out a pencil and scratched out the following. Pounding in nail, $1. Knowing where to pound nail, $499. That's local counsel. This is Mike Maslanka at your desk.